so good morning dear students today we are going to do a very very beautiful chapter the name of the chapter is the happy prince so happy prince in this chapter there are two main characters first main character is happy prince okay which kind of prince is he always ready to help others always ready to help others okay and after that we have another character that is the swallow swallow is a swallow is a bird okay and it is basically a bird who sacrifices its life to help prince in disturbing his valuable okay so the swallow is that who sacrifices his life so all of you mute yourself you all should have books with you because without books you are not able to understand the chapter good morning ma'am in between i will be telling you difficult words you are supposed to write down side by side some of the explanation you are required to write down so you all should be ready with your books we are going to start a chapter the happy prince happy prince is basically a statue and this statue is full covered with gold okay so very precious stone is there that is sapphires and his eyes are made up of those that stone okay and there is another very precious stone that is ruby so ruby is fixed in its in its sword okay so but the question is that why did he want to part with all the gold that he had his precious stone see his statue is not a normal statue his statue is very much costly very much expensive it is made up of gold okay so many uh, valuable very much uh, expensive uh, stones are there but at last we had to depart with all the things so this is a suspense in this chapter because if the prince was so happy and his statue was made up of gold so why was there a need to depart from it so let's read about that very much interesting and easy chapter okay so yog you start reading hi above the city on a tall tower stood the statue of the happy prince he was glided all over with thin leaves of fine gold for eye he had two bright red spires and large red ruby stone on his sword hilt one eye there flew over the city a little swell his friends had gone away to egypt six weeks before but he had stayed behind then he decided to go to egypt too all day long he flew and at night time he arrived the city where small i put up he said i hope the town has made preparations then he saw the statue on the tall column i will put up there he cried it is a fine position with plenty of fresh air so he alighted just between the feet of the happy prince i have a golden bedroom he said softly to himself as he looked around and he prepared to go to sleep but just as he was putting his head under his wing a large drop of water fell on him what a curious thing he cried there is not a single cloud in the sky the stars are quite clear and bright and yet it is raining okay but you can now your speaking skills are so good earlier i think i pointed you when you
Now my voice is audible. My voice is audible. Tell me. Yes. Okay. So what happened? So when he finally. Okay. So what happened? Finally, he thought that he should stay at that place, which was raised platform and where the statue of Happy Prince was kept. So it statue was made up of gold. So he thought that that would be a best place to stay. And he made a joke with him that his bedroom is made up of gold. His bedroom is made up of gold. And he said very softly to himself when he was looking around. When he was looking around, he thought that his bedroom is made up of gold. Okay. So now finally it was a time of night and he thought now he should go to sleep. Okay. So as soon as he was just putting his head under his wing, a large drop of water fell on him. What was that? Because uh, when he was planning that he should go to bed now, he should sleep. So what was basically going, going on? A large drop of water was falling on him. So he thought, what a curious thing. What was falling on him? Okay, because in the sky, there was not a single cloud. There was not a single cloud in the sky. And the stars were very quite bright, clear. Yet it is raining. So he was so surprised that why that drop of water is coming from the uh, sky. Because there is no cloud. It is not raining. It is not drizzling. So from where has that drop of water came? After that, he again looked up and again there was a drop of water. So what was that drop of water? What was that? Tell me. So again, what was that? It was again a tear. Okay, so another drop fell. It was what? It was basically a tear. What is the use of a statue if I cannot keep the rain off? He said, I must look for a good chimney port and he determined to fly away. So after that, Swallow took up a decision. What was the decision that he took? He took up that decision that uh, what is the use of a statue because this statue is standing but this statue is having no value it is uh, you can say useless why so because it cannot stop the rain it cannot stop the rain because he thought that there should be a good chimney port okay so that's why he made up his mind that he should fly away but before he had opened his wings a third drop fell and he looked up and so, oh, what did he see? Okay. So again, he opened his wings. Okay. And after that, again, what happened? There was a third drop of water fell on its body. So he was looking up. Okay. And he saw what, what was a surprising thing. He got a chance to see what was that? The eyes of happy prince, they were filled with tears. And tears were running down on his golden cheeks. Tears were running on his golden cheeks. Wait. So what happened? There were tears and tears were running down on his golden cheeks. Why golden cheeks? Because whole of the body was made up of gold. It means that that statue was crying. That statue was crying. So basically his face was so beautiful in moonlight because it was a moonlight 
and golden color face it was looking so beautiful and the little swallow was filled with lots of pity sympathy pity means sympathy so he said who are you swallow asked him that you are crying it means it is not a non living thing it is a living thing that's why it is crying so he asked him who are you so he said that i am happy prince so swallow asked him that what is the reason why are you crying okay you quite have drenched me what is the meaning of drenched what is the meaning of drenched made me wet made me wet that because of your tears i have made wet because of the tears swallow became wet that because of your tears you have made me wet so he was so surprised that the happy prince his eyes were filled with tears tears were running down his golden cheeks okay his face was so beautiful it was looking in moonlight and the little swallow it's uh, you can say it was filled with sympathy and pity okay so when swallow asked him the reason that what is the reason why are you crying okay so happy prince told about his story what was that story ridhima start reading from there when i was alive and had a human heart start from there when i was alive and had a human heart answered the statue i didn't know uh, what tears were for i lived in the place where sorrow is not allowed to enter my country called me happy prince and happy indeed i was so i lived and so i died and now that i am dead they have set me up here so high that i can see the ugliness and all the misery of my city and thought my heart is made up of lead yet i cannot choose but weep what is it is he not solid gold said the solo swallow to himself he was too polite to make any personal remarks far away continued the statue in a low musical voice far away in a little street there is a poor house one of the windows is away in a little street that there is a one of the windows is open and through it i can see a woman seated at a table her face is thin and worn and she has coarse red hands all pricked by the needle for she is seamstress she is embroidering flowers on a getting grow uh, gown for the loveliest of the queens maid of honor to uh, uh, on a to wear at the next co uh, court ball in a bed in the corner of the room her little boy is lying ill he has a fever and is asking his mother to give him oranges his mother has nothing to give him but river water so he is crying swallow swallow little swallow will you not will you not bring her the ruby out of my sword hilt my feet are fascinated to his pedestal and i cannot move fast and fast and means tired up okay ma'am actually we have done this chapter in our fourth class i think yes now listen carefully what happened afterwards so when happy prince was crying in front of swallow so swallow was so desperate to know the reason of his weeping of his crying okay so here uh, happy prince is going to tell about his story that when he was alive okay so at that time he also had a human heart like all of us are having 
okay so this was the answer of statue but i did not know what years were it means he was living in a palace he was having a luxurious life he was feeling a, he was leading a very comfortable life so that's why there was no need to cry at all so at that time he was not aware of this thing what are tears how to cry because he was leading a very very comfortable life in palace it means uh, in such kind of palace sorrow was not allowed it means no grief no sorrow no sadness was in the uh, in that palace okay so that's why all the courtier courtier means all the persons in that kingdom he used to call him what with the name happy prince so that's why because indeed he was always happy he always stayed happy he was always smiling he had no sorrow at all so that's why this was the reason it is not mentioned here in the chapter so that's why happy prince name was given to that prince because indeed he was always happy so he lived and at last he died also okay so now happy prince is saying that now he is dead and that's why they have uh, made up my uh, statue and they have fixed that statue on the high up high place in the city but now he is on a very high place his height is so big his uh, height is his uh, height is so huge its size is so huge so that's why he is able to see whole of the city so when he is looking the ugliness the misery of all the city okay so he was so moved but when statue was made his statue was made up of lead lead is a metal so his heart is made up of lead so that's why he cannot weep at all okay so swallow asked him what is he not solid gold that your heart is not made up of gold okay so he was too polite to make any personal remarks so he was not he did not want to make any kind of personal remarks he was so polite because he asked him so politely that if outer body of your of your statue is made up of gold so why your heart is made is not made up of gold why it is made up of any another metal like lead okay so after that statue he spoke in a very low musical voice what happened wait listen carefully so a uh, happy prince he saw he told that very far away in a little street there is a very poor house okay and the house windows are open and i can see through that window happy prince is sharing his experience because he is having a very you can say raised place wherever he is standing so from that he can see one of the cottage one of the hut and that hut's uh, window is very much open and here he can see a woman it was sitting at a table and its face is very much thin very much worn worn means very much tired write down the meaning of worn worn means tired that there is a lady its face is very much thin it is very much tired and she has a coarse red hands coarse means very much hard vanshika that is the last warning for you coarse c o a r s c coarse means rough so it has a uh, that lady has a rough red hands and why rough hand because all are pickled by a needle for she is a seamstress what is the meaning of seamstress that she stitches clothes for other because of excess work because of over burden she has got that marks of needle in her hands that's why her hands have become so hard 
okay there are marks of needle okay and there are uh, you can say hands are very much red and hard why so because she was busy in doing embroidery and she was doing a embroidery of flowers on a certain gown okay and this certain gown is for the loveliest of the queens maid of honor because this certain gown is going to be worn by queen at the next court ball okay and that's why this is being this it is being made by that lady tailor okay so because of that work she has got such kind of marks on her hands okay and in that cottage her little boy it is lying ill that lady who is teaching clothes who is teaching a gown the lady who is teaching a gown that lady's son it is lying ill in the corner of a cottage it means see the condition of that lady the condition of that lady that she is so helpless she is not able to take care of her son moreover her son is not keeping good health he is ill he is lying in the corner of a cottage and she is not able to take care of him and that boy has a fever and he is asking his mother to give him oranges but mother is so poor she has nothing to give to his ailing to her ailing son to her uh, ill son in, uh, instead of giving only river water so that's why boy was crying so bitterly so when happy prince got a chance to see that kind of scene that lady is busy in doing stitching she has no time she has no money she has no food to give to her uh you can say ailing son so to see such kind of scene happy prince was so moved and that statue started crying Crying. that's why tears were rolling on its body so happy prince gave him one task that will you do me one favor will you do a one task for me that there is one ruby ruby is a very precious stone it is very much expensive that will you take that ruby out of my sword and will you give that sword ruby to to that poor lady so that she can sell that ruby she can take money and with that money she can buy food for her ailing son happy prince says that see my feet are fastened fastened means tied up my my feet by feet are tied up my feet are tied up to this pedestal pedestal is a pedestal is a space raised platform so pedestal is basically a raised platform okay so that's why he said that my feet are tied up to to this raised platform or that's why he was not able to move so that's why he requested swallow to pick up that ruby from its sword and give it to that poor lady because he was so moved to see the condition of that house from window it was clearly seen by him 
so that's why there were tears in its eyes okay and he wanted to help that poor loon okay now simran wait wait there is a fake id Okay, Simran, you read. Simran, you read. Yes, ma'am. I am waited for in Egypt," said the swallow. Wait, wait, my ta. friends are flying. Read. I am waited for in Egypt," said the swallow. Hmm. My friends are flying up and down the Nile and talking to the large lotus flowers. Soon they will go to sleep. The prince asked the swallow to stay with him for one night and be his messenger. The boy is so thirsty and the mother so sad. He said, "I don't think I like boys." Answered the swallow, "I want to go to Egypt." But the happy prince looked so sad that the little swallow was sorry. It is very cold here, he said. But he agreed to stay with him for one night and be his messenger. Thank you, little swallow," said the prince. The swallow picked out the green ruby from the prince's sword and flew away with it in his beak over the roofs of the town. He passed by the cathedral tower where the white marble angels were sculptured. He passed by the palace and heard the sound of dancing. A beautiful girl came out on the balcony. Okay, I started just there, so uh, we will continue our chapter from this page tomorrow. Okay. Thank you.